Welcome everyone to another edition of the Ordnance Survey Great British Treasure Hunt. It's week 26 and it is Sutton Who. Now this is the last week of the Wales and the East of England and I've got to be honest it's been a disastrous area for me. I've had some awful scores so I'd be glad to be uh, glad to see the back of this one. But we we continue nonetheless in the quest for perfection uh, and Sutton Who. So I guess without further ado, we should get on with this, shouldn't we? And see if we can do better than we have been doing in this section of the map. So let's go with the easy questions first. And question one, which location on the map sounds the prickliest? Um, I, always met, what, I always say this at the end of the video. I'm going to say it now, obviously. Pause it now, have a go, answer the questions. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. There's no point in me saying at the end of the video, is there? So do that. Here we go then. Which location on the map sounds the prickliest? Well, we're obviously looking for some sort of name. Well, it's not Witch Pit Farm, is it? Potash Farm. Melton. The prickliest. Well, it's an easy question, so it should be there. Pretty easy to find. I mean, Bramble Hill is a definite contender. And unless we can find anything else, I think we're good to go with uh, Bramble Hill. I don't think we can. So Bramble Hill is the one. That could be an awful start. Who knows? Question number two then. How many halls are so named on the map? Wow, okay. How many halls are so named on the map? Well, I guess we go in and have a look, don't we? Well, this is not good because so far there's zero. Okay, we've got Haddon Hall here. See, obviously we can't be mixed up with the word hill. We've got Melton Hall, that's two. And we've got Meathersgate Hall. So that is three. So one, two, three from Melton but I think yeah I'm happy with that I'm happy with three. Oh, this is dangerous isn't it this is very dangerous going for this straight away medium questions then how many schools are shown on the map oh this this should be easy now let's not get that mistake do that mistake again where there, where it said schools and there were two so let's start in the top row. We've got one here, so that's one. Can't see any there. School, two. School, three. School, four. School, five. Is that it? Five. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to I'm not going to start getting excited because I'll probably mess up but so far I think we're okay. Question 4. Which named wood shown on the map takes its name from the river whose name is not shown? The river's name has a bird veneer. Now that usually means when it's capitals like that it is an anagram. So bird veneer. Now I'm assuming the word river is part of that. So what letters have we got left? B, D, E, E, E. B, D. Oh, B, D, N, E, E. B, D, N, E, E. So I'm looking for an area of woodland with the words B, with the letters B, D, N and two E's. Okay. We've got potash farm, woods, no, recreation ground. It's not browns planting. Little hoe. No. Ah! Deben wood. Has to be, doesn't it? D E B E N. Have I. Oh no, I've crossed that E off twice. We're good. Deben wood. Excellent stuff. Oh my word, this could be. No. No. Just stop, stop dreaming, stop dreaming. But I'm happy with that. 
because I think the river's name is River Whatever. I think it's the River Deben in that anagram, and it's Deben Wood. Question five. What do the words er, pit, rot, and ton have in common? Okay. Right, we've got witch pit farm, so we've got a pit up here. But there can't be more witch, witch pit farm. Sutton who farm. That's er uh, and rot. Any other? Er uh, farm, fairy farm, er. Uh. Is there a farm? Trot's farm. Oh my word. Right, now I'm getting excited. They are all in the names of farms. Okay, question six. Let's just not, let's just keep doing it as we're doing it. Question six, just had to check I was recording. The area shown on the map falls within which English county? Now, last week it was the Broads, Norfolk Broads, Norfolk. I distinctly remember from the map that starts this section that once we hit that, we go south. And the county south of the Broads is Suffolk. That's the only guess I've got. Oh my word, could this be it? Could this be it? Okay. Question seven. Find the difference in value between the highest number A road and the highest number B road shown on the map. Right, let's do that, let's do that first. So the highest number A road, so we've got the A1152. Well, that's the only A road, isn't it? We, we, need to, we need to get this dead on because we've got a chance here of perfect score, I think. I do think we have. So I think this is the only A road, the A1152. So 1152. Um, and the highest number B road. So we've got the B1079 and the B1083. So that little creepy B1083 there, I guess is designed to throw you off. So it is 1083. So let's take those away from each other. Nine, so it's 69, aren't we? 69 the difference? Just wanna be sure here, it is. So we've got, a, we've got 69 there. Add twice the number of times the word who appears. Right, okay. We need to be thorough here. The word who. So we've got little who farm, we've got Sutton who, and we've got little Sutton who. That's three, so that means we're adding six, which equals 75. We divide by three, if we divide three by 75 by three, that gives us 25. So that's, that tells me we've got the first bits correct. And find where the resulting number is printed on the map on a green background. Directly south of a farm, what is the name of that farm? Oh, we've got to get that, haven't we? Where is 25 printed on the map? If we don't see 25 printed on the map, we're in trouble. Ah, on a green background. Is it a contour? It's going to be a contour, isn't it? I mean, there's a 25 printed there on a green back, uh, background. Hmm. But that is not directly south of a farm. Is it? I think the best option is to look at all the farms and see if there's a number 25 printed in a green background south of a farm. So, Trot's farm, there's not. Ferry farm, there's not. Oh no, don't, don't tell me this is gonna be the question that messes me up. Potash farm, there's not. Is there? No, I mean there is a 25. I'm just gonna check the book here because sometimes it doesn't come across when I uh, look through, uh, when I use my phone to kind of get the image, when I scan it. So let's have a quick look. Sutton who, here we are. Just wanna see if there's any 25s printed that I can't see. 
I've just had a thought. It says directly south. That just means in a straight line. It doesn't mean next to, does it? So maybe, because I couldn't see anything on that map close to it. The 25 is directly south, isn't it? Because there's no... Come on, this, this cannot be... This cannot get me. Please, no. That's got to be 25, though, because it makes sense. Hmm. Unless there's like a high point, 25. No, it's going to be a contour, isn't it? It's a 22 there. But this is the only 25 in a green background, and it's not south of any farm. Directly south. Find where the resulting number is printed on the map on a green background directly south of a farm. There's a 25 printed here, but it's directly south of Sutton Hoo Farm. I can't see one up here by Potash Farm. Oh, I can. There it, now look at that. It's upside down. That 25 is upside down. I don't know if you can see that. It's just there. I'm sure that's a 25. 10, 15, 20, and it makes sense in the contours. I think it's Potash Farm. I'm glad I took the time there because if that is right and it gets me the top maximum scores, that, that question seven is the one that's clinched it. Although we haven't done question eight yet. Okay. The treasure trove found at the Sutton Hoo ship burial site represents one of the most spectacular collections of artifacts ever found in England. Can you discover the name of the person's person whose land it was found on? I can't do it. I cannot do it. That's really annoying. The name of the person whose land it was found on. That's extremely frustrating because I just I'm not I'm not going to know that without googling it. And I know some of you th said that googling is fair, but in this book we're deciding not to and we'll wait till the next book before we can google. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to guess. And it's probably not even on the map, but I'm just gonna say Haddon just because it's a name on the map, but that's probably wrong. And that would be so disappointing. It really would be. Key puzzle, what lies between a nursery and a nearby footpath? Well let's go into the map. The footpaths are here. And there's the nursery. So it is Well Is that the is that the railway? I think that's the railway, isn't it? Train tracks. There we go. Let's have a look and see how we've done. I'll be so disappointed if I could have got maximum scores if not for that question eight. Here we go then, map 26. It is Bramble Hill. It is Bramble Hill, of course it's Bramble Hill. One of one. Question two, yeah, there is three halls. Question three, it is five. Yep, it is five. Question four, it is Deben Wood as well. I did get it right. This is gonna really annoy me, I know it. Question five, they're all in the names of farms, which is what I said. Perfect, question six, it is Suffolk. Oh, come on now. It is Potash Farm. I worked everything out correctly and I just saw that at the last minute. And it's Mrs. Edith Pretty. So we've got that one wrong, I'm afraid. And it is a railway track. So I have got eight out of nine. It was that question eight that totally stumped me. And without a doubt, if I was using Google, I probably would have got that right. So it's a solid week, a solid eight out of nine. And definitely, I think I've got an eight before once. So it's my joint highest week. But the maximum score still eludes me. Thanks, uh, thanks so much, everyone. Thanks for playing along. Uh, let me know in the comments how you did and whether or not you think that's a bit of a stitch up. Um, but we carry on. Next week, we are in my backyard, the southeast of England, uh, and we move on to uh, Ampt Hill. So that should be good fun. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button to help massively and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.